Okay, uh, tonight uh, we will going to discuss about the tapestry under the visual arts, the medium, the materials, and the technique. But before that, ang uh, ito ay handog ni Handog na Gunsistan. Mag-aral tayo. Okay, so let's start the discussion about the tapestry. Okay, let's go to the next slide. Ayan, so nakikita nyo ba yung picture na yan? So, looking at it, that's not a print material, but it's a tapestry. So, what is tapestry? Ayan, o sige, what is the meaning of tapestry? Ayan. Uh, tapestry is a picture woven into cloth. It's a decorative cloth or rug you hang on the wall with detailed images or design on it. So, hindi siya print material, kundi siya ay cloth na we weave, no? Weaven, no? Weaven, no? Weaving, no? Yon. So, ano pa ba ang meaning niya? So, the a woven decorative fabric, you know, fabric, the design of which is built up in the course of weaving. So, yung design niya ay nagawa sa pamamagitan ng weaving. Yan. Yan ang tapestry. So, under siya ng visual arts kasi uh, siya, for, ang intention niya ay for decorative purposes. Yan. So, proceed tayo sa next slide para maintindihan pa natin. No? Let's talk about this picture. No? Okay, go. Yan. So, para maintindihan natin siya, oh, isa-isahin natin yung informas- information about this tapestry. Okay. So, the, tit- the title of this tapestry is uh, Portier au Arm de France. Tama ba yung pronunciations ko? Isa pa, no? Portier Portier o Arms de France. O bahala na kung tama na yung pronunciations ko. Basta yan ang pangalan ng ng, uh, ng tapestry na yan. Okay, ano pa ba? Ang artist niyan, o yung makers, woven under the direction of Etienne Claude de Blanc. Yeah. French, around the 1700s to 1751. So, ganun na siya katagal. So, from 17... 18, 19. So, meron na siyang around 300 no? years or more pa. Yan. Di ba? Tagal, no? And Pierre Jose Perrault, no? the France, French, no? and active since 1724 to 1750. Yan. Sila yung mga artist na gumawa ng tapestry nito. Yan. At ito ay ginawa no, sa Royal Factory of Furnitures to the Crown at the Gobelin Manufactory, French, founded 1662. Ayan. So, ano itong, uh, itong, itong Gobelin na ito? No? Itong basa dito, kung sa American English, ito ay Gobelin. You know? Pero dahil French ito, it's Gobelin. You know? Ito ay uh, isang lugar sa France, sa Paris, France. No? na doon ginagawa yung uh, lahat ng tapestry na uh, until now, it's still there. No? Pwede nyo puntahan yan kung meron kayong budget papunta ng Paris, France. If you have the means to go there, then go and try to visit this royal factory. And up to now, nandun doon pa rin ito. Uh, hindi siya tinatagkat ng French government because... T- Uh, historically, marami ito naging contribution sa kanilang culture. So, what are, what are other informations about? No? Ito, no? It, the, the culture is French. No? It's a very rich culture ng French, no? itong uh, pagkakaroon nila ng tapestry. No? And the place is Govalan, France. No? Uh, actually, ang inspiration ng Govalan na to ay si Jehan Govalan. Ano? Uh, he she is the uh, ano, uh, expert in dyeing no dye yung pag ano yung dye d y e 
no yung pagdaday no ng mga tela ano mga sinulid yan because kung makikita niyo tong tapestry na to these are all threads no sinulid lahat yan and these are very colorful um, at that time no uh, the only way to do do that is to dye the threads no and then they weave it together yeah kaya colorful yan. So ang expert nung time na yon si Jehan Gobalan. That is the that is the reason why uh, the factory was named after her. Yeah. Now the date of this design is uh, 1727 and um, the design no ginawa to no and they start weaving it uh, between 1730 to 1740. So natapos nila yan in 10 years time, ganun siya katagal nung ginawa ito. So, uh, mahirap, mahirap gawin ito. Mahirap, hindi biro. No? And then, the medium, uh, wool no? and silk. No? And, and a modern cotton, cotton lining. Ayan. And object number, ayan. So, uh, because these are, this is very, uh, very precious, that's why they put an object number, you know. And what else? Uh, dimension is 362.9 by 280.7 centimeter. So, malaki to, no? Around 142 by 78 by 110 and 1.5 inches. Wow. Laki. Very, very large, you know? Okay. So, ito yung information about sa tapestry na ito. So, this is a cloth, you no? Know, a ribbon made out of thread, you no? Know? Yeah. So what else no? Ano pa ba? Okay. So sa corner, kung makikita niyo no, ito to teka ha. Balik tayo doon no. Ito 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 ah, ito. Yan no. Kikita niyo yung cursor ito sa corner ayan. Ito yan no. Miikot ah, ayan. Ito. Ito yung makikita natin. Yan. So ito yung signature niya. Na gawa na. I don't know what's that if it's G or what letter or no. Hmm. Anyway, so ito yung signature nung. No? So kung makikita niyo yung pine threads niya. Okay, hindi yan painting ah. Yan ay uh, cloth made out of threads, no? Okay. Sige, what other informations that we need to find out about this tapestry? Ayan. So the visual arts tapestry, the process and technique. Ayan, nakita niyo yung babaeng to. Etong lugar na to ay ito yung Gobalan. Yan. So so nakiki ito yung mga threads, no? Yan. At yung medyo mali masyado lang bright yung color pero these are the looms. Yan, no? So okay, sige, proceed natin para maintindihan pa natin tungkol sa tapestry na ito. Okay. Um uh, tapestry sino to, no? He is okay. Uh, in this is Louis the Fourteenth, no? In during the Louis Fourteenth uh, time, no? no designing a, a tapestry start with a single artist who planned an entire series and may have delivered early sketches. Kaya, eto no, eto yon, no. So kung kung makikita nyo to, no, eto yung mga bird, no. So nagdo drawing mo na sila, no. So and then. Yung bird na to, no, nung ginawa na nila, ito na itsura ng bird. Ayan. Ayan na. So, ito na yung tapestry. Ito na yung part. Now, in modern days, ito pa rin. Ganun pa rin. Same process pa rin. Same process pa rin sila. Okay? So, uh, meron pa rin artist, no? Today, a similar contemporary artist creates an original work with the tapestry and mind. Ayan. So, kung kung yung isang artist ang expert in drawing or painting or whatever no uh, dapat iisipin niya na this is for for tapestry purposes no i, i transform yung o i translate yung kanyang artwork into a tra tapestry yan okay sige so it, sa designing pa lang tayo ha so marami pa yan okay sige so uh ito na yung designing after designing a tapestry ito na no so ito na yung mangyayari na. So now, pag pagkatapos ng design ng magawa yung design ano, it's the 
the weaver who interpret, interprets it. Ayan. So, eto yon. And then, um, and then, a weaver needs to love drawing you know, and have to, have to have a lot of imagination and creativity. So, yung weaver, kailangan, ano rin eh, mahal niya rin yung, ano, yung drawing. Marunong siya mag-appreciate ng drawing. Because, uh, yung drawing, uh, siya yung gagawa nun sa pagbubuo ng tapestry. So, kailangan maintindihan mo yung drawing. So, uh, knowing the drawing, understanding the drawing, it, it also para bang uh, synonymous or almost parallel or almost aligned with loving it. Because if you don't uh, know how to do, to do, to, to appreciate, no, no, hindi mo alam yun. So, hindi mo, parang hindi mo siya mahal. So, kailangan mahalin mo yung trabaho para magawa mo siya ng tama. So, yun ang sinasabi dito. No, no? A weaver needs to love drawing and have to have a lot of imagination and creativity. Yan, okay. So, a weaver has drawn essential lines into strips of clear plastic. Actually, ito, no? tung tung sa... Uh, sa ito, 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 itong sa ikalawang, sa gitna ng picture na ito, no? nililayer nila yung plastic. Yan. No? Kasi may draw, parang nag-trace sila ng, ng lines do sa original drawing. And then, uh, they are uh, placing the plastic dito sa harap. And then later on, later on, ang gagawin nila, uh, they are positioned against the looms, vertical warp threads, and the lines are redrawn. So, eto, so sa, kab sa kabila ng ito, ito, itong sa ilalim na picture na ito, no? ito, nasa kabila yung plastic. And then, they're marking the loom. Itong line na ito, ito itong, itong mga telang ito, itong mga sinulid na ito, no, no, these are the loom na tinatawag. So, um, nasa kabila yung plastic, and then, they are tracing by placing uh, lines doon sa loom na yan. So, so that it serves their guide. Ayan. Okay. And then, um, the markings and ink will serve as a visual guide for weaving. Ayun na nga. No? So, ito na nga yun. Okay. Sige. And then, ito na. No? The colorful threads. No? So, uh, yung, this, una, yung pag-create muna ng design. Ano? So, yun muna. No? And then, so, ginagawa nila yun. Ano? And then, ito na yung pag, pag pag may design ka, so pagpili na ito no, ano, nung mga threads, no, paggawa ng colorful threads. Oh, so, ano to? Paano to? So, yan. So, WEF are the colorful thread used in the tapestry. So, WEF ang tawag doon. So, ito yon Itong mga nasa gitna ng picture na ito. Ito yung mga WEF na tinatawag. So, these tapestry are made of thread na kung tawagin ay WEF. Yan. So, basically, sa simula, eto lang siya. Yan. Eto lang yan. Mga, I'm sure bakit siya nandiyan dyan. Kasi pinapatuyo yan. Itong mga thread na to, basically, these are color. This one, white. Yung mga yarn na yan. Yung mga weft na yan. Those are white. And then, dinaday sila. Kinibigyan sila ng kulay by the dye experts. Yan. Okay. So, say say natin. So, Wef is a, is made of wool for strength, no? Yeah, no. Silk for luminosity. So, pagka medyo lumiliwum, ano no, luminous yung kulay nung 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 uh, tapestry, it's made of silk. And sometimes they add silver ito yan, no? Silver or gold for showing off a patron's wealth. Kasi yung iba nagpapagawa sila, eh, no? So, gusto nila uh, uh, medyo classy ng konti or lagyan natin ng gold or silver thread yan, ano? So, mayaman yun. Okay. So, what else, no? So, weft must be dyed to have a color. This requires a dye expert. Yan. So, yung process niyan, eh, so, pakukuluan yung dye. Ito na yun, no? sa ilalim, no? With a correct measurement, yan, yan. Tapos, mainit. Saka, ilulublub yung weft. Yun, doon. So, dye, so, yung dyes, came, before, no, dye, came from, uh, came from plants, so, minerals, and even sometimes, insect ground into powder. So, noon yun, no, noon yun. Pero ngayon, may mga, 
modern chemicals na na, na ginagamit for dyeing no dyeing so it needs a dye expert you know when the weft is needed it's transferred from spool to the weaver's main tool called a bobbin or brush so ano yung brush na yun kanina balikan natin na okay oh, balikan natin sige oh, so ito ano nakikita niyo yung itong mga to yan or ito to 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 yan yung yung thread na yan nakapaikot yan para parang karayom pero malaki yon nakaho yon parang karayom yon ang tawag doon brush or bobbin yan yung tawag nila yan so iniikot yan doon so yun yung ginagamit nila pag nagwi-weave sila kasi pinapasok nila yan doon sa in between the looms yan ganoon ginagawa nila okay sige okay sige ulit <laughs> tapos na tayo diyan eh okay And then, ito na, yung preparing the loom. So, nag, kapag design na sila ng kung ano yung uh, artwork na it, And then, pinaprepare na nila yung mga ano, yung, yung, yung plastic, tapos ginuguhitan nila yung loom. Ito naman, um, ito na yung pag-prepare naman ng loom. Okay. So, yung loom, ito yon no? So, there are two types of loom, no? The vertical, doon, ang ginagamit nila ay eh, vertical and the horizontal. So, pag patayo yan, so ito, makikita nyo ito, no? itong picture sa taas na to ito, tsaka ito yung sa gitna. No? Yan yung tinatawag na loom. No, no dati, may, yan, vertical yan, gano'n. No? Tapos meron pang horizontal loom, loom na gano'n. So, pag... pag Uh, horizontal pa ganun yung we yung loom na yon tapos yung yan ganun pero ngayon puro vertical na lang ginagamit nila ganyan so ito ayan and then they arrange yan they arrange the thick strands of undyed wool so wool din siya no wool undyed wool called the warp form the structure of the tap tap tree so pag ginawa nila yan uh, may sukat na yan depende do sa plano no kung ano yung sukat nila yan ano depende sa requirement no so they are taking care or the expert in preparing the loom no uh, pinepepera na nila kung ano yung sukat na yan sakto yan and then and then looms are arranged perfectly spaced across a wooden bar with metal feet so eto yon yung wooden bar na yan inaayos nila diyan okay then then they will pull it up para Uh, may gumigpit yung wool yung loom na yan at mag-itsura ng ganyan okay yeah so preparing the loom ang tinatawag dyan okay sige next okay eto na yung weaving na no weaving na so the weaver's role is that she does it all from beginning to end so pagka yung isang tapestry design ano so hindi siya pwedeng pakailaman ng iba so kung dalawa silang gumagawa, gumagawa doon, so the two of them alone will start, will do it from the start until the end. Yan. So, tatapusin nila yan. It's their uh, project kasi yan. Okay. And then, uh, the weaver say, sits behind the loom, no? facing the back of the tapestry. So, itong gumagawa, no? yung weaver na to, no? itong magandang girl na to, no? hindi siya, wala siya sa harapan. Nasa likod siya. So, nasa likod din yung mga babi na yan. Yung mga babi na ito na ginagamit. Yan, nasa likod siya. Yan. And then, and then, uh, she occasionally look at the reflection in the mirror to perfectly align the weft. So, asan yung mirror? Ito, no? Nandi, di, ito yung loom. Nandi dito. Ginagawa niya yung weaving, no? Sa kabila nun, meron ditong mirror. Yan. So ibig sabihin habang ang um, ginagawa niya yung ano habang ginagawa niya yung nung, yung weaving no nakikita niya na yung image na nabubuo niya in front. Yan, nakikita niya yung image in in front na nagagawa niya. Yon, o di ba? So nandoon ka sa likod no sa kabila yung image na ginagawa mo and the only way to to see that is by having a mirror in uh, the other side and so that it will reflect the image no the, uh, of the uh, tapestry that you are that the weavers creating yan so, ang galing ng kanilang process talaga no and then what else no so weaving pattern a tapestry 
takes years to make, you know. And uh, a finished tapestry is a celebration. Wow. So just imagine ito, ito, tingnan mo ito, nasa ikalawang picture na ito, no. Yan. So, malaki yan. So, pag natapos mo yan, dahil almost a year niyang ginagawa to, so, uh, dugot pawis ang puhunan yan. So, in other words, after a year, and it's done, it's finished, it is worth a celebrating the ma a master. Peace. Yan. So, by celebrating it, you know, all, it's, it's like they're honoring, no? The, the work of art, no? honoring a work of art and the people who created it. Yan. So, yung mga gumawa nun, eh, they, they, they thank it, no? they acknowledge it so much because of the, uh, uh, yun nga, yung, yung pagtsatsaga ng kanilang uh, paglika, no? ng, ng pagbibib, no? or ng, para matapos nila itong uh, masterpiece na ito. No? Okay. So, what else? So, yun yung ano no yung tapestry ng ano nung ng ibang basa ng bansang France pero sa Pilipinas meron din tayo ng uh, visual arts tapestry the Filipino way no eto na yon no eto na yon ayan uh, first yung dayakan ano the, they are a indigenous muslim tribe native to the tropical island of Basilan okay uh, but but uh, according to the ano, article na nabasa ko the, the, because of uh, of the problems in that area, no? they move to uh, other areas, no, where they can live peacefully, no. So uh, this tribe is uh, they call themselves Yakan. Now, pakikita niyo yung suot nila, ayan, no? So weave yan. That's a product of weaving, yan, ano? So ano yan? The Yakan people are recognized for their remarkable technical or geometric weaves and the distinctive. Uh, distinctive face decoration used in their traditional ceremonies. Ayan. So, okay, no? So, kita nyo yung face nila, no? So, may mga mark na, ano, no? part of their makeup, no? And then, ano ba, no? Back in the day, no? Yakan women traditionally made textiles for their cultural dress known as the sepek, no? Semek, no? Uh, Accessories, you know, cultural dress, and accessories and interiors from uh, abaca, you know, pineapple, and bamboo fibers grown on the on the island. Yeah. So, the yun yung mga materials na ginagamit, yung abaca, pineapple, and bamboo fibers grown in the island. So, ang tawag nila doon ay semek. You know? Yan. Yeah. Okay, sige. So, Ito na yon, no? So, ito yung model nila, no? So, ang ganda ng suot nito, no? If by chance, bibili ako na ito may makita ko. Anyway, so, Yakan wears the semek. So, it describes, no? Ito, ito yun. It is the following are the trousers. Ito yon, no? So, yung pants nila, no? Uh, yakan sawal, no? Strip trousers with uh, zigzag and diamond repeat patterns made from bamboo fibers. Yeah. The men's button-up shirt, eto, no? Eto, yan, eto, no? Baju, yakan, designed to match the trousers, no? The headscarf, okay? The headscarf. No? Yakan, piece, no? Geometric intricate weave worn to cover the hair on a daily basis, no? The uh, apron, seputangan, teed, no? Has many ito siguro yun, ano? They has many different designs, but it is the most time-consuming and decorative weave of the semek, no? The sash, ayan, ito na. Ito y The sash, ayan, no? Uh, sakan, pina, lamputan, is made from a mix of pineapple and bamboo fibers. And for the bride's button-up jacket, uh, the pagal bato is made of from satin or cotton cloth and sometimes mixed with the lurex threads. No? And the brass button, batawi, handmade and worn on their women's, on the women's jacket. Ayan. So, ito yung mga damit ng yakan na, na winibib. No? Our very own local no? Filipino way of tapestry. No? Okay, ano pa? No? Ito pa, no? 
no hindi lang to yakan meron pa the ifugaos of kiangan no so the practice you know, the pra practice traditional weaving which follows all the techniques passed on uh, on through generations ayan ito yon no napakaganda at very colorful weaving nila no uh, the ikat weaving are bundles of yarn and are tightly wrapped together and dyed as many times to create a desired pattern or design. Yeah, no, ito na, ginagawa na so sa ilalim. Ano? And then, ikat means is to bind. Yeah, okay. So, we have the yakan and we have the ifogaus, no? Na ang tawag ay ikat weaving, no? Yung, yung sa mga yakan, yung semek, ang tawag nila. And then what else? Eto naman, ano? So ano to? The binakol of Itneg tribe, no? Northern, Northern Luzon, no? So tingnan niyo yung design, no? Kakaiba naman to. Limited to two colors, no? The gray and a lit, or gray and the dark. Gray, or, no? Eto, meron tong limited to three colors, no? So ano tong binakol na to, no? The patterns of binakol clothes are DCing on purpose. O nga naman, kasi kung titingnan mo, parang mahihilo ka talaga. No? Pero, may ibig, merong ano yan, merong, uh, may purpose yan. Ano? Traditionally, the made blankets in this design, no? Traditionally, they made blankets in this design. So, ginagawa, blanket pala ito, no? ginagawa talaga nila ito sa kanilang mga design. For what purpose? They believe that evil spirits that hovered overhead and preyed on sleeping souls Ah, naniniwala pa pala sila doon yung may mga yung mga evil spirits eh. and then the purpose of the blanket you no know, the blankets in the dissing designs they believe would confuse the and distract the evil spirits ayan so yun ang paniniwala ng mga ethnic tribe sa kanilang binako so may purpose yon sa kanilang uh, buhay no so it's part of their culture so ganoon naman talaga no and then Binacle designs range from whirlwinds, whirlwinds and stars to fans, cats, paw prints, and traditional Filipino kapist shell windows. Alright, so meron tayong uh, yakan, meron tayong ifugao kiyangan, yung ikat, and then the binacle. Pero hindi ito limited sa tatlo lamang. No? Marami pa tayong weaving na ginagawa sa buong Pilipinas. Those are the examples of uh, weaving, uh, local weaving, no? yung pamamaraan and uh, the intricate designs of our uh, uh, Filipino way of tapestry. Yan. So, oh, eto na yung ating ano, uh, mga references na ginamit para uh, if you want to search it for uh, more information, so pwede nyo magagamit yan. So, dyan nagtatapos yung ating uh, lessons about the Tapestry, you know, it's a visual arts, no? uh, visual under the visual arts, and tungkol sa tapestry. So, bye-bye. So, magkita-kita tayo ulit. Ito po ang inyong guro. Handog na Guru Sistan. Mag-aral tayo.